when people take their money invest their huge amount of money to produce movies and then you just expect them to just put it out there for pirates to just do anyhow they want to do with it do you think these guys pick money or do you think these actors and actresses that you see on movie sets are not being paid how Melogious TV. TV information entertainment analysis and gossips be careful we are everywhere <laughs> mellow just tv hey guys so welcome back to my channel it's a girl Melogis tv thanks for joining us again i know i've been silent for some time but we are back yes on today's video based on the title of this video and as you can see on our thumbnail i'm sure you already know what we are going to be talking about yes two of our finest are being cast in the same movie that is the silent storm and on this movie we are going to be seeing um uh, we, we have our young actor here ayaba jacob we also have one of our finest gentlemen a pole jeffrey and for international we have seen gavo also a cast of this movie and not leaving out our finest cc's Cindy Emade and Stephanie Toom, among others, there are also other beautiful and handsome actors that are also going to be cast of this movie. Now, why is this movie actually making waves in our internet, that is, in our community? Now, why are we here having this conversation? We are here having this conversation because this movie is already making waves on the internet. Everyone is talking about it just by seeing the cast of this movie. We all know there have been so much drama between some actors and actresses because of their various camps that they belong to. Now, let's take it straight to the point. Cindy Emade and Stephanie Toom, like we all know, since 2018, after the movie Little Cindy, we have not really seen them grazing the movie set together. All of us have noticed so many have talked about it and we have seen them on interviews like Stephanie Toom was interviewed on um, Freaky Table. She made it clear, Cindy and I, we don't have any issue. I think what is happening between us is just coexisting. And you guys know how these things operate. Yeah, they are two beautiful fine babes. When they go for premiere, they will be like this one dressed like this. Thanks to our bloggers that are helping to put them apart and uh, Stephanie Toom surpassed Cindy, Cindy, Cindy surpassed Stephanie Toom and uh, this one's dress was like this, this one's shoe was like this, yeah, we know all this things. So Stephanie made us to understand that they don't have any issues, that it is just about coexistence. That is why they find themselves on separate sets. You have seen, you and I have been seeing how the industry is going down. I, the title of this movie ties the same with what is exactly going on between these two superstars, Cindy Emade and Stephanie Toom. We are questioning and we are asking questions because we are their fans, of course. We like to see them grace movie scene, just like, for example, the take of um, Genevieve Nanji and Omotola. If you want to go to the male section, we talk of um, Ramsey Noir or with um, Jim Ike or Ramsey Noir with Desmond Elliott. The way we see those people on movie set, like when we talk of Ukwa and Late Pass, Sam Loco, when we see those images, those people on movie set, you already know that this movie is going to be a good one. Yeah, just by seeing Stephanie Toom and Cindy and Made on the same set, you already, we already, we are already visualizing, we are already seeing that something great is coming, something beautiful is coming, something good is coming, and everyone is anticipating for this movie. Because we wish the storm will be silent. Because we know women are our, our finally come. Because now that they want silent this storm, so may our, our no woke up. We all are happy because I've seen both of them sharing it on their handles. It means they are both anticipating for the movie set, which is good. That is what we want to see. That is, we want this unity. For this industry to grow, we need to put aside so many things. They must not be friends. 
They must not be doing things together, but they can work together. There are people, there are actors, actresses in other countries that they work together, not because they are friends, not because they can do, but because of their job and because of their fan base, because of the people they are entertaining, they work together. And after their work, you go separate ways, you do your thing. Cameroonians are craving, we are asking, we want this industry to grow. And this industry cannot grow when we have people who are backbiting, envy, jealousy, all these things put together, the industry will not grow. So the fact that they have both accepted to work on this particular project then is the way forward. They must not be friends. Friends, coexistence for real, just like what Stephanie Tum is really, really correct. When you go under conversation, you see what people are throwing. You see the jobs people are throwing. It's not really good. We want to see that this industry grow to another level, to another height. They must do some some things that will make the industry grow. Yeah. Now, looking at the cast members, you already see people complaining like, Mose act another foreigner in any movie set. How are we going to grow? I still don't get it because the fact that they are adding other foreigners or foreigners are using us as well in their movie set, that's how we do cross-country kind of entertainment stuff and the industries grow. You Do you people think Ghana industry just woke up one day and it is where it is today? Or Nigerians just got up one day and they are where they are today? They did a lot of collaboration. They, they were, we saw them in Ghanaian movies. We saw Ghanaians in Nigerian movies. There are some Ghanaian actors that took us time to even know that they were Ghanaians. Just like Emma um, uh, Juliet or is Juliet Ibrahim. It took me time to even know that she was a Ghanaian and not a Nigerian. Yeah, for somebody like, um, in short, there are so many of them. You guys know because they were working together. They came as a team. They built their industries together. That is what we want to do. So we should stop that complaining of they should not be working together. They should not do this. They should not do that. No. Let, let's let keep that one aside. When you go on that comment section and you see the type of things some of us write, I don't know if we are out here to build this industry or we are instead here to bring it down because we even put themselves on the front line to show themselves on the screen. We are the ones to encourage them. No, no. Yes, looking at it, people keep complaining, but we, will not, we are not going to blame anybody for the complaints that we get every day because they themselves, the actors, the actresses, the directors, the producers, they are not left out in causing all this confusion we have in the industry because every day we see one and the same faces on the screen. Every day we see one and the same actors on the screen, whereas we have other talented actors and actresses out there roaming the streets yes we have them out there today you hear audition for this audition for that but people will go there thousands of people will go for audition at the end of the day you see in a beautiful movie scene you see them picking but other uh, celebrities who are already stars who are already there they are in the a list they are in the b list you still see the same people that are playing music you still see the same faces whereas we have other talents that they can bring in and grow the industry not only the same faces look at how other industries have grown look at today look at nigerian industry today you don't even see most of those old faces they are behind the camera encouraging the young ones they they they, they work together they work together in short, I don't know what is actually going on. We must not see the same faces. There are other actresses that are out there that are better than some of the ones we see on screen. Let these directors, these producers, all these people involved in the movie industry in Cameroon, they should try even go on the roadside eh? interview people go to the market interview people you just you can pick somebody somewhere and train that person and they do something that you will not even believe. You should not you should expand your space. You should not focus only on the ones you have. Expand your space. Use more of the people out there. People cannot be coming for audition every day. And at the end of the day, we don't even see even two among the thousands that will come for audition. I'm not going to call name here. There is time that I'm going to talk about this audition thing. I'm waiting for that movie to come out. Now we are going to talk about this audition thing. Audition that thousands of persons went there and they were not up to four that were choosing to be part of the movie set because they had already made their list. They already know who 
is supposed to be in that movie. They already know the persons that they want in that movie, but they still announce audition. People pay their transport from Bamenda, Douala, Yaoundé, all part of Cameroon to come for that audition. Whereas they, they already knew that all these people are just coming for coming sake. That thing eh, will stop. And when me that movie come out, we go talk that matter. I don't want to talk now. We we'll just see how things they play. You know, see this industry, so we we'll go pull our hand now. If our hand they not work now, we we'll pull our mob now. Our mob they not still work now. We we'll go add our nose. If our nose no work now, we we'll go add our head. The industry you now must go forward. Because if we we'll not the talk, they know the year. But when we we'll start talk, like I saw it somewhere. Someone said in Cameroon, it didn't like say Cameroon not even get celebrities. Cameroon get a YouTuber because celebrities are the fear <laughs> YouTubers. <laughs> anyway, Sha, that was an aside. Thank you all so much. Now, before we want to talk, say movie, movie, the day for witty, the day for movie set, the day for cast, the day for this, we don't talk every day about all this movie done at the actor. So who say we go watch them? Where are we going to see these movies? Where are you people keeping these movies? Does it does it mean that after your premieres we don't hear anything about about the movies? How many Cameroonians are locked into Netflix? How many Cameroonians can do subscription? How many people can do this? They should do this. Some say they should make CD. Some say they should make flash drive. Yes, every day we are talking about movie. We talk about actors. We see them taking awards, best actor in this. We put our out there promoting they're voting for them without even watching their movies we keep talking about all these things every day well wait till we are own we are own have to talk because if you know the work i will more talk if we, if it's still work i will more still talk about it i've seen this guy um what does his name again chill queen that is a ceo of chilling media he has launched an app he launched his app where you can watch cameroon movies where we can watch TV stations in Cameroon where you can see all of the movies that you have been missing, the series and a lot more. He has launched it. I was expecting to see this thing on a lot of media space, people to be talking about, especially those who have been like, where are we going to watch these movies? That we want to see this. We want to flash. I was expecting that after this guy launches this app, a lot of people are going to share it out there for people to see, for people to know that, yeah, this is where we can watch Cameroon movies. The movies that we have been asking, that we want them, that they are only on Netflix, but on this app once you download it on your phone because it is also on android and also on ios everyone can watch it you can enjoy it but we are not seeing we are we have not seen it training on the media because this guy dropped this thing few days back yeah it has been there i've been waiting to see especially those who have been ranting on the media and making noise asking movie producers when people take their money invest their huge amount of money to produce movies and then you just expect them to just put it out there for pirators to just do anyhow they want to do with it do you think these guys pick money or do you think these actors and actresses that you see on movie sets are not being paid how do we expect all these producers to make back the money all these those who are investing in this sector to get back the money they must not get everything but at least they need to get back something because they are putting in their all their effort their time their energy out there are we expecting them to just give us the movies for free some people run to Netflix because Netflix buy their movies with huge amount of money some drop it on YouTube especially when they have a good follow some will drop movies on YouTube based on how much the support will come and we know the energy we have in our community to even subscribe on their channels is a problem for us to, even when we subscribe to watch is a problem to even like or comment is a problem that is still the canker one we are still struggling to fight against in our community in our society so that we can er encourage talents because people have these movies they are even afraid to even drop it out there they struggle to get small small platforms that they can make more that they can raise money to even finance what they put in all their effort all their energy all their time so this guy has bring up this app where we can watch these movies that you can subscribe with little amounts of money yes it's not free but to download their app is free but they have other sections that you can purchase so you guys should go in there go out check it out and promote a brother now he has brought this up instead of us now to encourage him 
we are still the same people going out there to criticize some are like it's not opening it's not do this that thing is not functioning they are up there are crazy they are, how do we even encourage people to even come out there to even do something nice how do we even encourage them do we encourage them by criticizing every little effort people try to put out there nobody is perfect even the app or the user and the youtube and every day they are there every day and night they are working on it to improve it whatever we are even your system you take drugs to improve it people see something you write you put your whatever you want to put there so that the producers, the editors, and so on and so forth can go there, do some editing, and adjust whatever they are doing there. Not that we just come out there, criticize the whole thing. That it's not nice. It's not nice. Which one, me and you, we don't make our never make we no one, but we don't care. We don't criticize and we don't crush and we don't do so. We don't do so. Anyway, Sha, you guys know Melodies hardly know too much. The comment section is your friend. Put all your thoughts there. For those who are not even aware of this, I hope you enjoy this and you try to check it out. If it doesn't work, yes, try reach out to the producers i've put his name is there you can see it you can reach out to them those who made this app to be a reality we say kudos to them and at the end of the day what am i supposed to say as melodies tv i'm just going to say congratulations because just the idea to bring up something like that the initiative is a beautiful thing these are the type of things we want to see in our community bro whoever you are keep doing right keep pushing keep striving for the best the future is pregnant yes without letting without stopping where i am i just want to say <laughs> i'm back when i know vex so when i only be happy anyway i just want to say kudos to askia and i only would shout for me jaya every day make one celebrity that begin to travel let them go out of kumba let them go out of boya make them begin to leave cameroon because when they travel they see other things their lifestyle go to change uh -huh. askia is in dubai who is talking about Askia's trip to Dubai? I only see they talk about she can drop posts because say eh, he ex the only ex way he regret her way he leave up and all of this. But nobody is talking about her trip to Dubai. It, well, the trip to Dubai don't make any sense. Anyway, Sha, what do I know? I just can't ask her more. And then I don't see a picture where post away hanging small, 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 it's small, yeah. So like so young on the way we hang her. So now it's the trend. But nobody is talking about Askia's trip to Dubai. Now a celebrity. Oh. Una must talk about tea. Eh? Askia is in Dubai. Dubai, are you ready for Askia? Dubai, are you people ready for Askia? Eh? <laughs> Grand Made Town. Anyway, Sha, I remember your girl, Melodies TV, your humble host. If you are new to my channel, I want to say you are welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, and to my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. You guys are the beginning and the end of this channel. You all know that. I always appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting your girl. I remain your humble host, Melodies TV. If you are not subscribed, please look below. Look at that red subscription button. Please click on it and turn on your post notification. And if you enjoyed this video right up to this level, please don't forget to give us a thumb up at the end. Bye-bye. See you all again on my next upload. <music>
farm, oh, oh, oh. I don't so far, oh, oh, oh. Every day I beg, oh. I beg, oh. Make them subscribe to my channel, oh, oh, oh.